Hi guys, I'm back with a project share. Um, I know I need to catch up on my daily, uh, my Project Live daily journal videos. Um, I think the last one I did was June, so I still need to do July and August. I need to finish August, and then I need to do a video on that, and then I need to do, um, well, I need to work on September, so that one won't come till later. Um, but anyway, first of all, I want to uh, say thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you to um, Emily who is um, OMG it's Emily 74 on YouTube for um, putting a, a link to my channel on her recent video we did a, a swap and she uploaded a video of that last night and she put a link to my channel in her description box and so thank you for all the subscribers that came to me from her channel and here's her um, YouTube username so if you're not subscribed to her already you can do that so that's her name right there OMG it's Emily 74 anyway um, and hi Emily um, this is um, and for those of you who did watch her video last night um, we did a little swap and we sent each other um, stuff, but then we also did a handmade and I made her a little, um, like a week in the life uh, day book kind of thing. And this is one that I made for myself, um, kind of mimicking, I guess, the Amy Tan ones, which I love, but I guess I'm just cheap and I don't want to have to pay to, I don't even know how much they are, like. 10 bucks maybe, and I know Michaels has them now, so I could probably get one with a coupon, but I figure I have a whole bunch of stuff, and I know I can make it myself, so that's a good way for me to use up my stash. But anyway, I'm going to try to not make this video too, too long and not go into, like, too much description on stories and stuff like that and just kind of show, like, what I did and how I made this. But, um, okay, so this is the cover, and this is approximately... Oh, wrong way. This is about 8 inches by 5 inches. And all I did was uh, I got a piece of, I think this is Studio Calico craft uh, chevron paper, I don't know from what line. But all I did was cut this down to whatever size I wanted and then I got a transparency and just kind of, oops, cut it a little bit smaller than that because I wanted it not to like be the same size as the the chevron paper and um, just fold it in half and I'll tell you a little bit later how I well I can just say it now I basically just um, stacked a whole bunch of papers like different sizes different um, patterns different shapes whatever and kinda like just like say this was a paper and I like stacked them all and did like the the fold with the not a bone folder, but it's a little rubbing tool uh, for rub-ons that I have. And I stacked a few, and then I got my um, so easy, uh, like little cushiony mat, and I laid since I don't have a long reach punch, and I turned it over like this, and just put like staples in the, you know, like wherever I wanted them, and then turned it over and like flattened them down. And I did that with each little section, and then like stapled all of them together. I hope that was, I hope you can understand that. And that's how I did it. I would really like to get a long reach punch so that I wouldn't have to. Because obviously a regular stapler is not going to go in that far. But anyway, so that's how I uh, made it all stick together. So anyway, that's the cover. Um, and actually I got this idea off of um, uh, Tracy, who is Mercy Tierra on YouTube. And she had um, done, except she did it with an Amy Tan one. And she did a little um, a day book with their camping pictures, which gave me the idea because we took three camping trips this past summer, and so I wanted to kind of put them all in the same place. And these are only, I only got two of our trips in here because I had already done a little mini with our first trip, or our second trip, our second trip. Anyway, um, so I got the idea. I loved how she had done her title like this. I can't remember her what hers said, but it said something about camping. But she kind of like split up the word, and so I love the way she did that, so I got that idea from her. And these are just some, I don't know what they are, recollection stickers, I think. 
And these are some old, really old KI memory stickers that I had um, laying around. Anyway, so I did that, and then this is a color box uh, doily from those punch outs I said I got, and I just uh, folded in half. The other half is on this side. And this is a cutout from Amy Chan, uh, one of her papers. Okay, so on the inside, I'm just going to lay it here so I can. Uh, I This was our um, permit, or you had to stick that on your car. I just stuck that on there, and um, this was our, okay, this was our first trip, and this was a, I think this is a die cut from one of the Amy Tan lines, and I know one of her day books has, like, some little kind of ticket like that, so I did that to kind of mimic that, and so I did that there, and this is just a piece of wood grain paper, that was a picture of our car, we're all packed up and ready to go. I'm not going to go into too much detail about what stuff is because I don't want this to be like super, super long and bore everybody to, that, to death. And excuse me for the sniffling and stuff like that. I'm still not feeling really well with my allergies and stuff. And so this was on the back and I just put a picture of we made a pit stop to pick up some stuff before we left. And this is an Amy Chan sticker. And um, this was... When we got there, we took a picture at the entrance. This is an Amy Tan paper. Um, I don't even know what those stickers are. These might also be Amy Tan from one of those little remarks um, sticker books. And I don't know what this sticker is. So I did that there. And I don't know if anyone notices, I like to outline like with the black. I think I do it everywhere, around the pictures, around the sticker letters, just to kind of make it stand out more. I, I've noticed that I do that a lot. I guess I really like the way it looks. This was um, my husband. You can see him there. We are setting up camp. and this is I love this picture. Uh, we were really trying to get back there one more time before um, school started or before the weather started getting cooler. I really don't think that's going to happen. We just can't get a reservation and stuff we have stuff planned and yeah I don't think that's gonna happen but anyway I did that there and um, I put a little tab right here um, I don't even know what a lot, I did this a while ago so I don't even remember what a lot of this stuff is but I put a little tab right there and a little sticker that says day one and this is my husband after he had set up the tent and he's like yeah I set it up <laughs> But he didn't do it by himself. Um, there's a tent right there. We both put it up, and, and it was kind of hard. I, I, like, on our second and third trip when we went, we did it a whole lot quicker, I guess, since we already knew wh where everything went and stuff. But I remember that day, and it was hot when we were setting it up, and it, it was it was not fun. It took us a good, I don't know, 30, 30 minutes, I think. But anyway, I, there's a picture of that. And this is a picture of... Uh, Here's another little tab, and I put a little sticker that says relax. This is the inside of our tent, and it's a pretty big tent. I think it's uh, said it sleeps eight people, but um, that was a lot of room. We were able to fit a queen-size uh, inflatable mold mattress, which is that one, and um, my husband and I were supposed to sleep on that one together, and um, Mikey was supposed to sleep in his little bed. There's this little stuffed animal they took with him, but he did not end up sleeping on his own. So my husband slept there and me and Mikey slept in the big bed. But we have like comforters and pillows and it doesn't even look like we're we're roughing it. But it was really nice. We enjoyed it. So I did that there. And on this side, uh, here's some more Amy Chan stuff. Um, I think this is an October afternoon Chevron paper. This is Amy Chan. And there's a picture of my husband and my son in this big field, um, our campsite was next to this really big field, which was good because Mikey got to ride his bike in there. And um, When my best friend's uh, kids got there, they ran around the field and played with water guns and stuff like that. But it was real good that that was right next to us so we could keep an eye on them. And so on the back, this is a little, um, I have an American craft sheet of paper. I can't tell you what line it's from. But it's a sheet, it's a blue sheet, and it has um, white clouds on it, and I've had them forever. I didn't know what to do with them until I decided, like, oh, I could just, like, 
um, cut out the clouds and make them like use them as little embellishments and I uh, cut two of them out cut this one in half and layered them and outlined it in black so that's where that came from and here's a little stamped Amy Tan camera this is just a picture of a part of the river and this is Amy Tan paper this is the back of that October afternoon paper and then down here I did another little and I tried to like stagger the papers so it's not like just the same you know they're not all doesn't look like a book they're like staggered and different and stuff which makes it look funky and cool and I, I really like that um, this is a picture of me and my husband after one of the times that we got in the river um, this is Amy Tan uh, this is Amy Tan I think this is all Amy Tan there's Mikey riding his bike and I journal okay this was our first day and this was really my favorite day of all it was so relaxing and it was just us and it was some much needed family time that was I just love that day so I just picked the best day and I can't tell you what those stickers are um, this is uh, this is actually a little you can't tell but this is a little envelope that I made using some Mambi paper and I just folded it in half and the other half is like back here somewhere and this is my husband barbecuing and this is what he made that night and um, this is the other side of the envelope um, here's some more of those clouds this is a picture of um, the sky there was a bunch of buzzards I think they are I really don't turkey vultures I don't know what they are but at any given time of the day there was at least 20 of these things flying around and they would swoop down like really low into people's campsites and pick at their trash and stuff because some people wouldn't go throw their stuff um, in the dumpsters when they weren't at their campsite and so they're like looking for food and I just took a picture of that and journaled about it and this is a Heidi Swap arrow and this is the second day I put another little tab right here and this is Mikey we woke up really early before well there was already a lot of people awake but before my husband was awake and we took a little walk to the river and it was nice and fresh and this is a picture of him standing on a rock and this is actually um, this little scallop card is um, old Prima uh, I don't even know what line it is a little journaling card and it has a little cutesy owl on it I think this one does and that's over here in the on the back on the other side and I just journaled about that day put some washi tape and I did this little um, what do you call this like checkered doodly border thing on there and um, this is a, a jelly bean die cut this is an Amy Tan sticker and it's just a picture of him standing next to a really big tree and this is a picture of part of the river this is where uh, mostly we would go to this part of the river there's like a dam um, back over here on this side and so the water's rushing really fast here and to me it looked a whole lot cleaner than the water that was on the other side of the dam so this is and Mikey would put on his floaties and and uh, start at the beginning where the water was rushing and just like um, pick up his feet and like float all the way down. He was having a blast doing that. And this is a Amy Tan paper. I think I did this picture and or you know what my husband cooked the exact same thing for breakfast every time we went so that's what we ate. Um, potato and chorizo tacos for breakfast so I think this is a Mambi, a Mambi die cut and I don't know what this is. I think this is Amy Tan from the sketchbook and then what is this I think this is an envelope oh yes this is an Amy Tan envelope from her first line I think and the other pieces on the other side back there this is a frame I come cut out of one of her papers this is my uh, best friend's husband and his parents and their kid they were also in one of the other little in my daily that I did yesterday I think and it says we have company and I just journaled about that there they stayed with us for a couple of nights two nights one night I'm not sure I can't remember and this is a piece of vellum from the Amy Chan sketchbook uh, pad that I got at Michael's was it the sketch yeah it was a sketchbook I got that at Michael's 
and I just folded it in half. Okay, this is the middle, so it's the other side. And I took a bunch of pictures of a whole bunch of different birds that we saw. This is a red bird. It's not a cardinal. I don't know what it is, but there it is. There it is. It was really pretty. I was trying to get a picture of all the different birds that we saw. I don't know if I did. This is a another one of those Amy Chan frames. Here's another bird, a real pretty yellow one. And here's a little... There you go. Uh, stop! It keeps focusing and <laughs> going out of focus. There it goes. It's a little black and gray. That one was really super tiny. I had to like sneak up on it and get a picture of that. And um, here's a picture of Mikey with uh, my best friend's kids and they're having lunch and then we bought them some water guns and they had a little water gun fight. Here's a little tab that says have fun and I don't even know where I got that from. It's really, really cool. Uh, what is that? It might be Lily Bee. I have no idea, but I really like it. Um, this is the other piece of the envelope that was over there. I used some Sask glitter stickers and it just says water fight and there's a Heidi Swap arrow. And this is old Creative Cafe, a uh, Creative Imaginations Creative Cafe. And it's a sticker that says, I live to enjoy this moment. And here's another little Amy Tan camera. And this is, oh, this is from the die cuts with a view snapshot stack that I got at Michael's. And I just cut out that little Polaroid that says smile for the camera. And some Martha Stewart labels. And this is a picture of me and Mikey laying in the tent before I was trying to get him to go to bed. This is Amy Tan as well as this and here's another one of those different kind of labels that I can't remember where they're from. And this was day three and there's the other side of the tab and I put that little day three sticker that I know I got them at Hobby Lobby but I don't know not the tabs but the little sticker that says day three and like this sticker and this one right here but I don't remember I don't remember what brand they were so we had made pancakes for breakfast they were eating pancakes and then we um, let them ride their bikes on uh, the basketball court they had right by where we had our campsite and so that's them riding their bikes uh, sorry for the phone this is the other half of the that little prima die cut there's that little owl and this is a picture of um, a hill. It's not a mountain. I know we see it and we think it's, well, I mean, we like us who, like my husband and I, people who live in this area, we don't really see, like, real mountains. And so, like, this is, um, to us, we think it's a mountain. It's really a hill. And my husband and um, my best friend's husband and his dad, um, I'm trying to put it close enough. Maybe you can kind of see them there they're like with their hands in the air and um, they climbed up there I was scared I was freaking out I was like thinking my husband was gonna get too close to the edge and like fall off because I remember one time when we were um, younger and we this was the camp the park that we used to go camping at when we were younger and I clearly remember being in a paddle boat on the water in the water and there were some like young kids like teenagers climbing up there and we were in the paddle boats and we kept hearing people scream and as it turned out there were some kids up there and one of the guys had fallen like a certain number of feet onto a ledge and thankfully he didn't get hurt but um yeah so I was scared there's a lot of loose rocks and stuff there's even a sign that says like climb in at your own risk or something like before you go up there so I wasn't going up there I am clumsy and I mm -mm. Loose rocks and height, no, that's not good for me. So I didn't go up there. Anyway, um, I journaled a little bit about them. Uh, I put this way, that way you would, you know, oh, okay, this is the journaling for this picture. Um, just journaled about them climbing in. I love it. I love owls. I know Emily was saying um, when she did her little haul video, I sent her some felt um, owls, and I should, she said she loved owls, and I was like, oh, my God, no way, because I love owls. I don't know why. And I have, like, I say it's my collection of owls, but so far I only have three. <laughs> but um, 
like little figurines and so anytime I well I'm always like on the lookout for little like owl figurines or stuff like that to add to my collection but I also love owls and this little owl is just so cute okay this is the other side of um, one of those envelopes that I made with some Mambi paper and there's a picture and this is old I remember I got this pad at Michaels and I don't even remember what the line was called but I remember I loved it and I've used a lot of paper from this because it had a lot of I don't know if you can see this is like a grid and it has arrows all over it but there was a whole bunch I mean like tons of sheets it was like one of those big 180 sheet pads and it had a ton of sheets of like this um, kind of weathered looking grid without the arrows and I love that to use it like as a a base for like my pages so I got a lot of use out of that pad and here's the back of the envelope and there's a picture of Mikey and you can see he's kind of sunburned that's a little my mind's eye um, label sticker and here's my husband and Mikey this was our last night I think this picture was also in my daily journal when I talked about that night that it well that afternoon that it started getting really windy and we left and this was supposed to be our third night there but we just came home and I really wish we had stayed but once we got home and we got to sleep in our in our beds and take like nice hot showers and be in the air condition I was kinda glad we came home we had fun but it was good to be home so that's a picture of them and I just journaled a little bit right there and this was that same afternoon. This is Amy Chan. This is a picture of me and Mikey waiting for Miguel to bring our food, which is this over here. And I talked about this in, in my other video also. And I don't remember what this this little old vintage tag looking thing is. And here's another one of those tabs. I must have had a lot of them. I don't know where they came from, but there's another one. And I just journaled about the food. And this was our third trip. On this trip, right here it says, trip three. On this trip, um, my husband and I got to go by ourselves, which was so awesome because I know the kids love it. Well, the other book, well, our second trip, my oldest son got to go, and that's in another book. I need to show those in another video. Um, he did like it, but um, Mikey just loves it. But we decided it would be nice if we got to go by ourselves because we have not gotten to go anywhere by ourselves like on a trip like that overnight for about two years and the, the last time was our honeymoon when we got married so we got to go by ourselves and we got a really nice campsite because the second time we went we got there kinda late and we checked in actually in the evening so there wasn't a lot left and we got a really small campsite that had a lot of dirt and rocks and no grass and it had a lot of shade but it wasn't like nice I didn't like it but anyway this was a really nice campsite I was so glad and so this is a picture of our our tent and you can kinda of see our picnic table right here that was our campsite number and here's a, I took a picture of my husband while he was still sleeping that next morning and here's a picture of me <laughs> and him and he was still asleep and this is a uh, this is a journal card from I want to say Little Yellow Bicycle but I could be wrong I know it's like a little book and I got it at Michaels and it had like tags and then like circle die cuts and a whole bunch of different things I've had these forever and I just it's like one of those things that I said I've never used and so I try to use them in my journals and my minis and stuff like that and so I use that there and so I got to journal on the bottom and this is actually a picture of some of those I don't know if you can see there's like a ton of those vultures sitting in that tree that was over our tent and when we were laying in, in, in the tent that morning, we kept hearing like a flapping noise. And I thought like little kids were running by our tent or something, maybe like shaking it. And that's what we were hearing. <clears throat> Until I looked out the, the window of our tent and looked up and I saw all these birds were sitting in the tree, like right over our tent. And I told my husband they were waiting for us to die <laughs> so they could eat us. 
But anyway, and that's what I kind of journaled about there. And here's a picture of my husband. We're waiting for breakfast to cook. And here's a picture of us together. And here's some of those, <clears throat> excuse me, Studio Calico wood veneers. And these are just random stickers. I don't know from where. There's a little bit of washi. And this is a, a jelly bean um, die cut. I don't know from what line. I know I have a whole bunch of those 12 by 12 sheets with the die cuts, the punch out die cuts. Here's another one of those tags like I was talking about over here. It's like one of these. <clears throat> this is a picture of some tubes that we got. I don't know how to swim and my husband loves going to the river and he loves to go tubing and so the last few times when we went we couldn't really go tubing because my neither of my kids know how to swim so I didn't want to leave them in the water like unattended while we went tubing but since we went by ourselves this time my husband was like you're gonna go tubing and I was like okay but I was really scared and um, he tied our tubes together and um, one of my cousins went with us also, so she had gone um, down the river with us when, when we went tubing, and so she had a good hold of my tube, and my husband was holding on to my tube, and I still kind of sort of, I don't want to say freaking out, because I wasn't like freaking out, like, oh my god, I'm going to drown, but in my head, you know, I was kind of like, oh my god, I can't feel the bottom, but um, it was fun. I would do it again, but like I said, I was a little scared. Um, so I just journaled about that right there and took a picture of our tube. <clears throat> this is um, the last day, the last morning when we were leaving. There's a little bridge, or what they call it, the lookout. And um, you can see, like, the whole park, right? Well, you can't see it right there. But if you're standing at this little, it's not a bridge. I don't know what you call it. But if you stand there, you have, like, a good look at, at the whole park. And so we stopped right there, and we took a picture. And it says, goodbye until the next time. And just journaled a little about a little bit about how much we we loved it going camping. It's definitely something we're gonna do from now on. And this is just a grid journaling card that I got at Office Depot or Office Max or something. And this is um, American Crafts um, sticker from some little remark sticker book. I don't even know what line it is. And here's the back of that ticket from the front. I didn't put anything there. I don't know what to put there. And I think I'm just gonna leave that. Alone. But anyway, so that's my little camping mini. Um, I'm going to try, I don't know, I might just go ahead and try to do this right now while I'm by myself. I'm going to try to do um, a, a video with the Pieces of Me uh, mini album that I made. Uh, two piece had, I don't know, well, I'm sure they still have it. Uh, pieces of Me class. And my sister and I. Uh, split the cost and bought it and we were supposed to work on it together and she started hers but I don't think she finished it but I did my little album and so um, I'm gonna try to do a video with that little to show you that little mini mini book okay but um, thank you for watching and again thank you for all the people who just subscribed to my channel and be sure to comment leave your comments I love to he uh, hear what y'all have to say about you know just whatever you think about my work or whatever you want to say. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. And like I said, um, be sure to check out Emily's channel. OMG, it's Emily074. And um, thank you for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.